Hey loves, it's time the infamous here and I am so sad because we're in our second to last day of time the infamous week and you guys really 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 have enjoyed it so I am so so happy. So today's video I know I told you guys that this was going to be a penciled in haul from MAC and a lip demo and it ended up turning into so much more. Now I knew I had a giveaway for you guys. But I wanted to but I wanted to keep it a secret. Along with the giveaway, Valencia Rose sent me more hair and I just put it in today, just well yesterday, just for fun to show you guys. Since it's time the infamous week, why not? So I have a haul from Mac, a small haul. I have a lip demo, including this one. Earlier today on Instagram, I posted a picture with my purple wig and this super gorgeous sequin dress and you guys just love the lip. So, oh sorry you guys. Oh. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this lip along with some other lip swatches too like I promised you. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I know this video is going up late. I had to add more into this video. I hope you guys love it. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So first, let's talk about this hair and about the Valencia Rose giveaway. Tell me what you guys think about this hair. I really like it. I feel like it looks way better in person because you just can't get the dimension of the black hair but I'm just absolutely loving it. I feel like it makes me look really like innocent and young, so I love that. And it does kind of make my makeup pop. So let me show you guys my makeup. I just felt like doing this super like girly, very light feminine look today. Let me know if you guys do want to do a makeup tutorial on this. I just love the look. It does no justice on camera. This is more for an in-person look, like a daytime going out if you just want to look super gorgeous. And if you guys want a tutorial, I will tell you guys the inspiration behind it because it is so funny how this look came about. So that's that. And yeah, so this is my hair. This is my Valencia Rose Bohemian Twist hair. And you guys know that I have not had this hair since the summertime. And I just love it. I wanted to do more of a natural look. I don't know why. I wanted it to look like it was really my hair. Sometimes I can overdo it with the bundles and then it looks fake. But at the same time, I feel like I need to add a little more hair. So I am going to be adding a few more rows and this is the 28 inches. If you're getting curly, I would go longer because it is measured being stretched. So this is what it looks like in the bundles. Now when you get it in the box, it's going to be in a twist like this. And then you're going to unwind it. The hair is really, really, really nice. Then it has the Valencia Rose label on it. So this is what it looks like. You guys flipped when I wore this hair the last time and I do not blame you guys. It just looks so exotic and pretty. I just love, love, love it. And this closure is the bomb, you guys. Let me show you close up because on camera, sometimes it doesn't pick up the part but it is a silk based closure and the baby hairs are really nice on it. It looks really, really real and natural in person. And I just have it glued down here in the front. I will be showing you guys how to work with your closure and your bundles and making a wig and everything soon. So check out Valencia Rose hair. They heard about time the infamous week and they said they have to send me some closures to show you guys and to give away. Because you know they have been on a roll with their sales. They've been having a lot of 35% off sales for the new year, for Valentine's Day. So since you guys mainly buy the bundles, we thought it would be a good idea to give away some closures. And I think I have one or two frontals in here. And let me tell you, they are the bomb. So let me just show you guys that now. 
I already took them out of the box to check them out because you know I inspect everything and it is looking so good. So this is Brazilian hair in a 318. This is the first closure. So for those of you who don't know, the closure goes right here like this instead of your real hair. So the point of a closure is to protect your natural hair because you know if you're um, putting heat on your natural hair on your leave out, it damages it, it gets to be really, really short. And in order to really keep your hair nice and strong, I definitely only use closures and frontals now. I never have leave out, I never have a U-part wig or anything. The next one is also Brazilian and this one is in the number 30. So it is so soft you guys can see. They're all silk based closures you guys so that means that it's going to look like your real scalp like it's growing out of your head. Now if you see on the back here you see these three lines that's called a three part closure. So it's parted in three sections. So you have versatility with that. And I believe the closures are around $180 or $200. So you guys are really in for a treat with these. Okay, so the next one is Brazilian as well. And it's a three-part closure, 14 inches. Oh my gosh, this is the frontal. See, it is the bomb, you guys. So a frontal goes ear to ear. So it goes like this. So if you want it to look like your natural hair, like if you want to pull it back, so if you want it to look like it's starting right at your hairline, go with the frontal. And this is not a silk base frontal. Valencia Rose's baby hairs are the bomb too. You can see their baby hairs. That's what makes it look so natural. Okay, so for the next giveaway, we have the Brazilian again, big wave 14 inch silk closure. So it's going to look like this. So this is the big wave. It has a nice curl pattern to it. And here's the lace. You cut that off and glue it to your forehead. And then you guys see their baby hairs right here. This is a really, really good one. Because what you'll do, you'll just pull them forward like that. And then you get these awesome baby hairs. We also have a 12 inch silk base closure. Now this is freestyle, so it means it doesn't have any parts in it already. So we're giving that away too, which is really nice. And the last one up for grabs is the Body Wave three part closure 12 inch. So it already has the parts in it. Okay you guys, so those are up for grabs. Thank you Valencia Rose for sending these closures and frontals for Time the Infamous Week. They definitely love to keep you guys fabulous. And make sure to click the link below if you are interested in the Bohemian Twist Hair, which I have in now, or any of the frontals or closures you saw. So, to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is comment below on why you want to win a frontal and a closure, and you just put down below which one you want to win, so that if you win, it's already right there. I'll email you and get your address and you are good to go. Let's have the giveaway end on Monday. So Monday is the last day to enter and on my next video after Monday I will announce the winners you guys. So let's move right along you guys. Let me get this hair out of the way. Next we're going to get right into the haul. So I'm going to try to go through this quick because this video is like kind of like a variety show. There is so much going on. So first I have one, two, three products from MAC. I'm going to show you first because these were for my recyclables. For instance on this lip gloss, open it right here, it'll say back to MAC. If it says back to Mac on there, then you can recycle it. So the first thing I got was Motif, and this is an eyeshadow. And oh my gosh, that's what I'm using as my highlight today. I have this old like palette, and it's actually right here, so I use that one. But I just wanted it in the pot because I love this color. It's like this gorgeous kind of like creamsicle color, 
and it is just like fluorescent so I love this as a highlight because it just looks like a fluorescent bar of light it is so pretty I put this on my NW45 clients and it is gorgeous so I picked that up I also got another eyeshadow called black tide and this was one of the first eyeshadows that I ever kind of discovered at Mac this was one of them that made me say oh my gosh that's cool because it ha it is just black, but it has um, like that sparkle in there. I love this one, especially like if you don't want a super, super pitch black, this is a great one to use. So I love that. And then I also got this lip glass in under eight. Oh, that's not it. That's for the next part. Okay, where is it? There we go. I got this lip gloss in lip gloss in under age and it looks like this and it's super super pretty it's like a really light orange nudish color and this reminded me of floor abundance looks really pretty on so that's what I got for my back to Mac now let's move on to the Mac Toledo collection and I got one two three four items so I'll go through what I got. You guys already know about this palette because I used it on the Nicki Minaj tutorial. And these are the colors. You guys know this one is my Belle Greens palette. So the colors are Fresh Blade, Gorgeous Gold, which actually I thought this was discontinued. That's another reason I picked this up. Gorgeous Gold is so pretty, you guys. Definitely check that one out. The other color I'm super loving in here is called Saving, and that's this super pretty green. Oh my gosh. I have not swatched it until right now because I wanted you guys to get like a real review on this. And this color is off the hook. Like, oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited because it's like this color is going on how the old MAC shadows used to look at that one swatch literally oh my gosh like that color makes this whole palette worth it and then something that was really cool was this one here is charcoal brown you guys know I use this for my eyebrows so that's an awesome one to have and then this last one you guys saw it in my Nicki Minaj tutorial it looks like that which would be super sexy even by itself this palette gets two thumbs up for me the only bummer is with the packaging it's kind of like a silicone feel so it is gonna get really dirty see you already see it's like getting stained but that was the only thing I do love like the inside of the packaging you know when they like do a little extra I like that the next thing I got was actually a mascara and it's really cool that all of the products do have a sleeve which is kind of nice and this is in the color chlorophyll and I know you guys are like why did you get this color Ooh, the uh, mascara is so pretty I love this I love the packaging on the mascara and each mascara actually had a different print so this one is dun, 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 the green one and the reason I got the green one oh and the brush is super cool it's like super wavy and the reason I got the green one was because I am so in love with my Dior show mascara that I knew I'm never going to use another mascara for a long time so I was like you might as well get the green one and since I got the green palette okay next is a eye pencil oh and you guys I'm sorry that mascara is called modern twist the eye pencil is called chlorophyll because it's the same exact color so this is what the eye pencils look like I do feel like MAC needs to step up their formulas on this. It's really, really good. Like, it goes on the bomb. It's just like they break so easily. Like, look, I hope you guys can see that. It's like already about to break. And they're so short. Like, look how little they are. So that's the only thing I will say. But the formula you can see is gorgeous. This color is the bomb. So I'm happy I got this. This is going to be gorgeous on the bottom line as well. So the last thing I got from this collection looks like 
this. And I'm really excited about this. This is called Azalea Blossom or Azalea Blossom. And it is actually a blush. And it's gorgeous. It looks like this. I'm so excited about this because um, there was another collection where they had these ombre blushes and I totally missed out on them. I will say I did use a little bit of the purple right in here for my contour, but I have not swatched them with my fingers. So let's see. Okay, so it's pretty sheer. That's the pink one. And let's see how the purple is. I felt like the purple was a little powdery on my face. Yeah, it's gonna be a light purple. But nonetheless, it's still super, super gorgeous. And um, yeah, this is an ombre blush. So I want to keep it moving. You guys know I can sit here and talk about these products forever. But we need to move on to all my penciled in haul and lip demo. Okay, you guys. So you guys are probably like, what makes this so special? MAC came out with some new lip pencils. And they're not just any lip pencils. I think they came out with five. They also came out with matching lip glosses to some of our favorite lipsticks known to women, okay? So let me show you guys why this is so cool. Oh my gosh. Are you guys ready? Guess what color lip pencil this is, you guys. This is in the, hold on. I need to clear my wrist to swatch these. I need to be swatch ready for real because you guys are gonna be like, what? But yes. Okay, guess what color this is, you guys? This is dun, 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 Ruby Woo. Oh my gosh. They made a Ruby Woo lip pencil, but you know, that was not the best one. This is the best one. And they made, oh my gosh, they made a Candy Yum Yum lip pencil, you guys. Like, do you see that? And they also, how I said, I think they had five. The other one I picked up was this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's called Edge to Edge. Now, truthfully, it seems like I've heard this lip pencil name. So I don't know if this is new. I'm pretty sure it is, but look how gorgeous this is. Like, I'm kind of more excited for this one than any of the other ones. And when I'm excited about something, I get inspired. So that's what's on my lips. That's how I made this lip today, you guys. But don't worry, we're gonna go over all that. Let me show you guys these lip glosses. So first is the Candy Yum Yum lip gloss. Oh my gosh, how freaking cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, like, what? That's just one little, like, I just swatched that one time. Like, I just love how MAC is coming back to like being intense, like what? And then I was like, really they made a Wooby Roo lip gloss? It's kind of an oxymoron in itself because Ruby Woo is like the best retro matte lipstick ever. So to make a lip gloss was super cool. Now in the package, it looks really dark. I pulled it out and I was like, that doesn't look like Ruby Woo. When you swatch it on your hand, it's like completely bright red. Like, I don't get it. So that is off the hook. So I was really, really excited to get these. They have some other colors, but these were the ones where I was like, I have to. You guys know what I say. I can't, I just can't. So those are so pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom in for you guys. Let's get this lifted up a little. Okay, let's do a little more. Okay, you guys, so before you start, I'm gonna give you a little tip. You need to go out and buy this. It's the Too Faced Lip Plumper Extreme. And I'm sorry, I tried not to help myself, but I have to put this on. And it really plumps your lips. 
instantly and over time. So I'm gonna give this a second to start plumping and I'll be right back. Can you guys see? Like my lips are plumped, like really. So this stuff works. So, oh, and it, it makes your lips really, really red. Okay, you guys, so actually we need to go from lightest to darkest, so I'm just gonna throw on that same lip again. So you wanna grab your edge to edge pencil, which is this one here, and you wanna just go ahead and line your lips. Okay, so the lipstick I'm going to be using is by Illa Masca, and it is all tore up from the floor up, you guys. It is all broken, but it's called Live. They don't hold it up on their own really, really good. So you do want to put on the MAC Lip Prep and Prime. And then let that sit for just a minute because you want it to get tacky. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and put on our lipstick. right in the center and you just start with a little bit then you just keep pushing your lips together you guys it's super simple and then you want to go back in with your pencil And there you have it, it's a super easy lip. So that's the lip I wore today. Okay you guys, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, so I'm all set for my next one. The next one I'll do is the Candy Yum Yum. And you guys know that this is the pencil. Now I'm going to put these pencils to the test you guys. I'm going to be using only the pencils all over with the lip gloss. I'm not going to do the lipstick. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I have a Candy Yum Yum lip liner. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and fill in my lips. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are a winner. Like, as you can see, it doesn't coat my lips like the lipstick, of course, but you can get that base color before you put on the candy yum yum. This for sure is a must buy. Oh, you guys know how I love matte lips, but I have to show you guys the lip gloss on top of it. So let's see how it is. Since I don't want to mess up the lip pencil, I put like three coats on my hand and then I pick it up on my wand. It's really pretty. Just hot pink glossy lips just aren't my cup of tea, but it's really, really pretty. Okay, you guys, let's move on to our last one and that's going to be our Ruby Woo. And it looks like this, super, super pretty. Oh yeah, for you guys, it looks like that. It's that one there. Oh my gosh, I barely even started. And this pencil is like literally the same exact color. Oh my gosh, you guys, you, I'm just telling you already, you need this pencil too. And it is so, so soft. It's much softer than the Candy Yum Yum, but I love it. And you barely have to even touch it. I'm like literally barely swiping it.
Okay, like really? It's so thick and it is such like an opaque consistency. It is the bomb. Okay, so here's the Ruby Woo lip, lip liner by itself. Do you see how thorough the color is? Oh, here comes the lip gloss. I don't even want to mess this lip up with the lip gloss, but we have to see how it looks. So there's the lip gloss on there. Oh my gosh, do you guys see that color? Seriously amazing. Now, I do feel like, of course, this lip gloss does darken it a little, but truthfully, I really, really feel like MAC did that for the deeper skin tones because Ruby Woo is hard to pull off on deeper complexions. So if you guys have Ruby Woo at home and it hasn't been able to work great for you, definitely just pick up the lip gloss and put it on top and I think it'll work so, so well. It's really, really, really pretty. I would skip on the gloss personally, but it is awesome to have this as an option. So yes, you guys, that is the end of our demo and day number four on Time the Infamous Week. I hope you guys liked the demo. I was so excited about these pencils. I don't know if they're limited edition. I kind of have a feeling they're gonna be so popular that if they are limited edition, MAC will bring them back. They're gorgeous. Definitely check out this edge to edge. This, I'm gonna be in this lip pencil like a lot. I think that's it. Remember tomorrow is the grand finale of Time the Infamous Week and what we're gonna be doing is my room tour and my makeup collection. So I'm really, really excited about it. I have not even looked at the playback on it. I saw a few clips, but I can't wait to see it. Let me know if you guys wanted me to do, like if you feel like I skimmed over anything in here, I can go back and do like a dedicated video on say my closet or my shoes or my lipsticks. You know, like if you wanna see me open every lipstick and show you the colors, and you know, things like that. So totally let me know. Yeah, you guys, that is about it. I'm so sad, tomorrow's the last day. But I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you check out Valencia Rose Hair and thumbs up this video. And until next time, I'll see you later.